Welcome back to Painting with Shama. I use paste and cake watercolors, but today I only used cake watercolors. The colors that I use today are green, blue, brown, orange, red, and black. And I use painting brushes. You can use whatever you want, but I use two big wash and two fine brushes. Then you'll need watercolor paper, water jar, mixing container to mix color, India ink, and now we'll get started. Before actually putting any paint down, I did a light coat of water, and then I added green for my first layer of grass with a bit of hints of yellow. I then start to add my rocks for the house that our creature is going to live in and some rocks scattered on the side. And then I start to add some shadows to these rocks underneath and then I add the black to the door. Now after that's dried, I begin painting the tree that lives on top of the house. I just put some hints of brown straight through the middle of the tree and then darken around it. Then I add a shadow on the ground. I add shadows for the rocks and then I do another layer of grass coloring to really add depth. I then begin doing my sky. Now you can do blue, whatever color you want, red, purple, doesn't really matter. But I did orange and then up in the corners I added a bit of blue. Gives it a nice grayish blue. And then I did my third layer of grass coloring. I then begin inking my picture. So that just really gives it an ideal perspective of what's going on. It outlines everything. It lets you know where things are. So I do the grass. I do my house. And after letting the tree dry a bit more, I'll do that. But as you can see, I did a bit of smoke coming out of a little chimney because I forgot to do that. Maybe some little twigs near around it. And that is the finished product. Thank you guys for watching, it means a lot. And please paint that like button and subscribe for more videos.